We had uh, main event segment Kevin Owens. So this was this was <laughs> something else. So Kevin Owens comes out and he says, "You know, I don't have a match at this stupendous WrestleMania, but I came up with an idea. I want to do a KO Kevin, show, the biggest Kevin, Kevin Owens, Owens show of all time, and I want a guest from Texas." And he says, "You know, I could choose Booker T, but he's a hypocrite. He spent most of his career calling himself Harlem Heat." Talking with a fake British accent. Shawn Michaels, he says, I'm a I'm a proud Canadian and out of respect for Bret Hart. No way I'm doing that one. And so he says there's a guy we haven't seen in a long he time. He hasn't mentioned JBL Blowhard. Yeah, not doing he JBL. did not mention Undertaker, who's also from Texas. Undertaker's busy. He's going to the Hall of Fame, so it's not busy that day. Well, we don't know what he's doing Actually, that day. Actually, what what no, what, the Hall of Fame's Friday night, so he ain't busy Saturday. Well, he's gonna go he has to go stand on that stage. I guess. Yeah. Anyway, there's this guy, he says, hasn't done anything for a long time, probably let himself go drinking beer, probably can't even walk to the ring, spent so many years wrestling in knee braces. It sounds to me like Austin must be in like stupendous shape right now because uh, Owen's playing it up like he's he's uh, completely immobile and fat, which tells me he's Well, he ain't going to be fat. Not. He's not going sh- to show up fat. No, he, of he, course he, not. That's was, my point. He must be in fantastic shape. If he wasn't. Well, if he's in fantastic shape, he might want to do a match, but but who knows? But yeah, he I think he'll probably show up in in good shape because he he, he will. I mean, it's just like he ain't gonna he ain't gonna show up out of shape. I mean, he's known he's known about this. He's had enough lead time to where he's known he's going to be on the show. So, um, you know, yeah. I mean, at least at least look good in a shirt and everything. I don't know if he'll take the shirt off. I saw him on um, uh, what was the show? Uh, Straight up Steve Austin. Um, where he did a segment where he was in like a hot tub or something, and I mean, at that time he he did not look like he was training, and that was not, you know, cosmetic shape. Not he wasn't fat or nothing, but he just, you know, he looked like a a normal like a normal former athletic fifty five year old guy, but he can obviously turn it around. It's not impossible. I mean, at all. If you really, you know, just diet for a while and train for a while, and it doesn't even take that that long to get in, you know, good enough shape if you're wearing a T-shirt. So he'll, I'm sure he'll be fine because he would not, if he was not going to be fine, he would not be out there. He's got a lot of personal pride when it comes to that type of stuff. So uh, he calls out Steve Austin, and then uh, they hit Steve Austin's music, and this this place went nuts, but it was just for a graphic. <laughs> And they, sh- they had a big question mark. Will Stone Cold Steve Austin accept this challenge to go on the KO show? And I guess he's going to answer tomorrow. Is that right? Social media? Is it? I thought they said that noon tomorrow or something like that he was going to have his announcement. Okay, so I guess he will then. Um, he's, um, yeah, and they've already announced it for Saturday, even though they haven't. he hasn't announced that yet. Wow. Yeah. I figured it would be Saturday because I always figured that, like, you know, you put Lesnar and Reigns on Sunday, and you put Ronda Rousey and Steve Austin on Saturday. That's how I kind of figured it, and that's kind of how it's going. Let's see if I can find the uh, exact time of this announcement. Pretty sure they said he was going to announce it tomorrow. Could be wrong. But uh, anyway, that was that, so there you go. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio... We got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.